Hello friends, welcome to Yoga with Lisa Levy, home edition. In today's video, I'm gonna kick your butt, yoga style. So let's start at the top of our mat. We're going to do two sun salutations, Surya Namaskar A. So firmly press your feet into the mat, open up your arms, standing in Tadasana Mountain Pose. Inhale, lift your arms up towards the sky, bring your gaze at your fingertips. Exhale, swan dive. If your hands don't touch the mat, it's all good, just bend your knees. Inhale, flat back, your gaze is towards the horizon. And for our first one, just step your right foot back, the left foot meets it in plank pose. Moving to chaturanga, if you have trouble with chaturanga, all good, just drop your knees. So shift your weight a few inches forward, bend the elbows 90 degrees. Plant your feet into the mat, lift your thighs, your knees up for upward dog, dropping the shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, shift the hips up to the back of the room, downward dog. Make sure all 10 fingers are facing forward. Your ears are in line with your arms, shifting your hips up high to the sky. And see if you could drop your heels down. If not, just bend your knees. Gaze is at the belly button for three deep breaths. When you're ready, one foot at a time, walk your feet to the front of the mat. Shift your weight onto your toes as you fold. Press your feet into the mat as you come all the way up. Reach your arms up to the sky, gaze at your fingertips. Exhale your hands to your heart center. We're gonna do that one more time. You can do that variation or you can try to challenge yourself with the jump back. So firmly press your feet into the mat, lift your arms up. Exhale, you fold. Inhale, flat back. Jump, step, or float to chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Breathe, three deep breaths. And then walk, step, or float your, oh, walk and step is the same thing. Walk, jump, or float your feet towards the top of the mat. I'm going to jump. If you jump, you want to try landing as quietly as you can. Fold. Press your feet into the mat. Come all the way up. Exhale your hands to your heart center. Bend your knees. Ukatas in a chair pose. See if your arms are in line with your ears and drop your tailbone. Bring your belly inward. Don't hyperextend that back. Breathe. Come onto your toes, like an elevator, slowly descend. And then find your way in Malasana, a low squat. Looks like this. So press those elbows against your legs, legs pressed against your elbows, lifting the heart. Drop your right hand to the mat as you lift your left arm up to the sky. Good morning or good evening, whatever time of day you're watching this. If it's in your practice to bind, you can try doing that. And when you're ready, switch, dropping your left hand to the mat, lifting your right arm up. If you took the bind, please try it on this side as well. And then bring both hands to the mat. Heel toe your feet back into a forward fold. Shift your weight to your toes as you fold deeper. Try imagining bringing your chest towards your knees. And then press your feet into the mat. Come all the way up. Exhale your hands to your heart center. Think about shifting all the weight onto your left foot as you bring your knee towards your chest. Now, if this is very hard for you, here's a cheat. Or it's not a cheat, it's just a modification. Have your hands under your right thigh and see if you can lift your knee up even higher. Now, see if you can extend your right foot out. Remember, you can have your hands under your thigh to help you out. And then bend your knee and find your way into a warrior three. Imagine as if you're kicking 
the back of the room. So notice how my foot is flexed. My feet, my hips are even, and you can do whatever arm variation feels nice for you. And then bring your knee towards your chest and see if you can kick that right leg out again. Bend your knee, kick back to warrior three. Do that one more time at your own pace. And this time in warrior three, we're gonna hold it for five, four, three, two, one. See if you can now come back to warrior one. We're going to gently bend our left knee as we quietly step our right foot to the back of the room. Our right toe is in line with the right corner of the mat. Find your way to warrior one. Look up toward the sky. Try to see if your arms are in line with your ears. Don't hyperextend your back. So drop your tailbone, bring your belly inward. Look up to the sky. Open it out to warrior two. You might need to move your back foot a few inches to the back of the room. Press the energy towards the mat. Look forward. Reverse your warrior. And then cartwheel both hands to the mat. As you step it back to a plank pose, and if you would like to do a chaturanga with your little leg lifted, I challenge you to it. Or you can just go to a regular plank. Chaturanga, upward dog, shift the hips up, downward dog. Breathe. Bring your gaze in between your hands as you make your, find your way by bringing your feet towards the mat. Inhale, flat back, exhale, you fold. Press your feet into the mat, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, your hands to your heart center. Now think about pressing all the weight into your right leg as you lift your left knee up towards your chest. And we're going to extend our left leg. Now remember, you can do this with your hands underneath your thigh, extending the leg, bending the knee, kicking it back to warrior three. Two more times at your own pace. Whoop. Find a point that's steady and not moving in the room. Hold your warrior three. You got it. And then find your way to a nice warrior one stance like this. Drop the shoulders away from your ears and look up. You're doing great. Open it up to a warrior two. Breathe. Reverse your warrior. Look up to the sky. Cartwheel your hands onto the mat as you move through your vinyasa. We meet in downward dog. Breathe. Like a wave, come onto your toes and then slowly transition to plank. As we hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Like a wave, come back to downward dog. Lift your right leg up for three-legged dog, even hips. Bend your right knee. You could bring your gaze under your right armpit. And now bring your knee towards your right elbow. Kick it back. And then bring your knee towards your left elbow. Kick it back. Bring your knee towards your nose as you hold for five, four, three, two, one. Kick it back. And then drop your right leg towards the mat, downward dog. Breathe. You may take a child's pose, but try to find ease and comfort in this shape. I know you can do it. We're almost done. When you're ready, lift your left leg up. Three-legged dog. Bend your knee. Bring your gaze under your left armpit. And then see if you could bring your knee towards your left elbow. Kick it back nice and high. Left knee towards your right elbow. Kick it back nice and high. 
Now bring your knee towards your nose. Breathe, kick it back up. And then drop your left leg to meet the right in a downward dog. Breathe. And then walk, float, or hop your feet towards the front of the mat. Forward fold, lift your arms up. <sighs> so let's now neutralize our wrists. See if you can step your feet onto your hands like this. Lift your heart, exhale, fold. Again, you can bend your knee. Release your hands, bend your knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, stand up nice and tall. Find your way to a comfortable seated position. If you would like a challenge, do it through um, chair pose like this or just sit. Bend your knees like an elevator descending. Okay. So now just straighten both legs on the mat. Flex your feet. Remove the flesh from your legs. That sometimes feels nice. Now, you can always bend your knees. If that wasn't obvious in this video, please bend your knees. Do what feels right for you. Imagine there is a string on your chest pulling you forward as you imagine bringing your chest towards your legs. Forward fold. Breathe. Leave your left leg as it is. Bend your right knee. Think about bringing your right foot onto the inside of your left thigh. Inhale your heart forward. Feel the string. Pull your chest towards your leg as you fold, flexing that left foot. A bend in your leg is always optional. Breathe. Inhale. And just switch your legs. Feel that string in your heart pull you forward as you bring your chest towards your leg. Come up to a neutral position and we're going to end in Shalabhasana Locust Pose. So find your way towards your belly like this and then we're going to do this two times the first time we're not going to lift our feet so firmly press your hips into the mat interlace your hands behind you as you lift your heart up and your gaze is directly underneath you on the mat breathe drop your forehead towards the mat you can do that or if you would like the challenge see if you can lift your legs up at the same time Squeezing those shoulder blades back, pressing your hips into the mat. Your toes are touching. Release, press your hands into the mat. Find your way into child's pose. And come up to a comfortable seated position. And take a moment to close your eyes, check in with yourself, drop the shoulders away from your ears. Remember that you are in control of your thoughts and your feelings. You are stronger than you know. Don't let your mind play tricks on you. You are in control. If you'd like to send a healing thought, prayer, or message to anyone or anything, please do so now. Thank you so much for watching this video, friends. I hope you feel strong. You did it. Namaste.